All right, Nick, let's touch back in on the Pittsburgh Steelers, see what's happening down in Steel City. Uh, there hasn't been any changes yet. But the changing of sentiment uh, is still there. Kenny Pickett has made some comments today, and we're going to get into that story here in just a moment. But the overall theme uh, the last few weeks, Nick, is the offense needs to change, and at the helm of that change is probably offensive coordinator Matt Canada. He needs to go. Uh, He's no longer fit to be the play caller for this team or really to be in charge of the offense in any capacity. So Steelers fans, we want to know, Uh, If and when Matt Canada does leave, who is your ideal offensive coordinator? Who would you like to see calling the plays uh, for your Pittsburgh Steelers? Who who do you think can give you this spark to be a contender? Once again, let us know in the comments below. But uh, Nick, what's going on over uh, in Pittsburgh? Yeah, my so we've heard obviously from Steelers fans up and down. Hey, they got to get rid of Matt Canada. Matt Canada stinks. We did a video last week t- uh, talking about some of the comments Mike Tomlin made, potentially under the radar, kind of potentially laying the groundwork to move off Matt Canada. But it's now moved on from the coaches, on from the fans, on from the pundits to the players in the locker room, specifically at the quarterback position. So I'm going to read from what Kenny Pickett said after the game. This is according to the Yard Barker. Uh, Quote, it's insane to keep doing the same things over and over again and expect something different. We've been having these problems all year, so that has to get changed. All right, my so obviously Kenny Pickett here is alluding to the famous Albert Einstein quote, you know, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. And right now, my, I think it's pretty clear here. This is sort of Kenny Pickett in the nicest, most mature, grown up way, because we know he's been around the block five years at Pitt. He's more mature than a lot of rookies. The most mature grown up way you'll ever see a rookie quarterback come out and say, my offensive coordinator stinks. We're getting killed because of him. The Pittsburgh Steelers dead last in the NFL in points scored. I think the most points they've gotten in a single game this season is 20. They've hit that mark a few times, but that's obviously not going to get it done. It's become clear right now, right, that Matt Cannon has totally lost his offense now with these latest comments from Kenny Pickett, or, or, or do you think maybe Pickett's reaching a different direction? Well, yeah, Nick, I think that uh, famous quote that they always say, well, he's lost the locker room. Uh, That has happened in Pittsburgh with Matt Canada. I don't think anybody believes him anymore. And you know, Nick, I've even seen it in the play on the field. I've seen uh, there's a key screen uh, to Najee Harris for, I believe it was a third down, fourth down. I can't remember, Mm -hmm. but it was really easy. He got it wide open space as maybe like a third and one, third and two. And he didn't even really try to run for it. He yeah. actually got uh, stuffed right before it. And it just feels like the team isn't even playing their hearts out because they're like, why, why play hard for somebody who keeps doing the same thing over and over and over again? We're not getting the results we want. And after you lose and no one changes anything, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's kind of hard to wake up and go back to work and be like, you know what, this week's going to be different. And that's what I can completely. Uh, agree with Kenny Pickett when you wake up and you're like okay well maybe we're going to change this week and it keeps becoming the same game plan like oh this game plan's really real solid it's going to work this time I swear it, after about the fifth time you're probably like I don't even want to do this anymore so I, I get the sentiment that Pickett says it definitely is insane I don't understand why Pittsburgh has stayed with Canada for this long he hasn't showed any signs of brilliance really at all so uh, I'm excited to see if they change. Uh, I'm excited to see who they change to. And I think that uh, this might be the spark if Pittsburgh is able to move on from Matt Canada. Yeah, I think it's a good thing you brought up that Harris play because it's become kind of a mean meme. Everybody watching it. What the heck was Najee doing here? Why didn't he just lower his head, get the four yards or whatever for the first down? And minus going in college, I was on some really bad teams with some really bad offenses with bad coaches. And what often happens in those situations is players try to do too much. Right. Because Najee Harris in his mind with this offense right now, I guarantee you he's thinking, if I get this ball in my hands, I have to get a big play. Because if I lower my shoulder and I get the first down, it's not going to do a darn thing because we're going to run another speed sweep or we're going to do something stupid. We're going to call something dumb. We're not going to be able to turn this into points anyway. So what you saw Najee Harris do is literally what happens when you're worn down by bad coaching and bad play calling for a long period of time. I saw with a lot of my teammates when they got the ball in their hands, they try and do too much, cut back too much, you know, maybe run away from designed hole just because they had lost total faith in it and felt they had to do everything on their own that's exactly what we saw from Najee Harris so again you can tell right away that this offense is just spiraling they lost all kinds of confidence in Matt Canada and the fact that Kenny Pickett after a game I mean the guys only started what three four games in his entire career at this point to come out and say that basically they just they can't keep doing the same things over and again they're just 
what they're doing is insane. I've never seen that happen before. And look, these guys aren't dumb, right? They know the criticism on Canada. They know what they're saying is going to feel into that speculation. So I almost feel like Kenny Pickett in the offense right now is almost trying to make that kind of wish that into reality by keep this train rolling because it's clear it's not working. I mean, you can't score 15 points a game. That's their average right now, I believe, and be anywhere remotely close to successful in the NFL. It can't get it done. And my stay of the playmakers. George Pickens should be offensive rookie of the year candidate. The guy's amazing. Claypool's a stud. Farmuth is a solid tight end. Najee Harris is a good player. Offensive line isn't great, but they've been better than a lot of people think they've been so far at this point in the season. They have the personnel to be good. And it's clear it's clear Canada isn't getting it done, so they need to move off them very quickly. I agree. I mean, we say it every week. Eventually, it has to happen. My my last point for you, Nick, and this is something I was I was thinking about is, okay, say they do move off of Canada and then the offense starts to perform. Doesn't this move by Pickett look like a great showing of leadership yeah. that he comes out and he's like, listen, this, this guy isn't it. And it's, it's pretty brave for like a rookie quarterback who you said hasn't even started more than a couple games so far this year to step into the role, already take that leadership role on his back. He's not even a captain at this point. Mitch Trubisky's still a captain. And he's like, listen, this, this is insane. We can't keep doing this. Like something's got to give. I think it shows a lot of leadership in Pickett. Yeah, quarterbacks have unreal power, right? What they say carries a thousand times the weight of the other players and just that magnitude, it just drives a lot of change. I'll give a quick story real quick, Maya. So before a game in college one time, our coaches had like a strict lights out, you know, Friday night before the game. Sometimes they come around and check. So it was me, uh, our quarterback, you know, very well. And a couple other guys, we were playing cards and the head coach comes in and he's, he's pissed. He opens the door. It's like 1130 at night. We're all playing cards and he starts yelling at the three of us and he sees the quarterback and he stops and says, all right, you guys have a good night and walks out. And that was the end of it, right? That's the power the quarterback position can have. He can drive so much change because the coaches rely on him for their own success. So the fact that Pickett, again, I, I agree with your point here. If Pickett can kind of force this change more on his own here than any other person on this football team, if he loses faith in Canada, because if Pickett can't perform with Canada, the team can't perform and the team can't perform, obviously everybody loses their jobs or salaries and so on. So again, I, I think you got a good point here that Pickett can drive that change more than anybody else in the Steelers' organization right now.